example, it was children with their first urinary tract infection. So that's P for population. And what is the um, uh, intervention that you're doing? And that's prophylactic antibiotics. What are you comparing it with? So P, I, C. So the comparison is no antibiotics. And then what is the outcome? And the outcome is risk of recurrence. And you think that that's my research question. We call it PICO, P-I-C-O, the population, the intervention, the comparison, and the outcome. Some of that evidence-based medicine, okay, there is good evidence one way or the other, but always you have to balance it against what are your clinical values and clinical judgment as well. So, for example, with the example that I gave of the urinary tract infections, the evidence suggests that, yes, prophylactic antibiotics do reduce the risk, but that you have to treat 16 children with prophylactic antibiotics for weeks or months or even a year to prevent one recurrence. And then you have to think, do I really want to treat 16 children with prophylactic antibiotics to prevent one recurrence. Maybe all those antibiotics are bad for the children, will re induce resistance, it's expensive. Maybe it would be just be better not to give them antibiotics and then see and treat the recurrence only. <laughs>